Meteorologist Vivian Gonzalez live in the Storm Center to bring you the very latest on Tropical Storm Erica. Winds are at 45 miles per hour. It is moving quickly west at 20 and located 730 miles east of the Leeward Islands. So here's the big picture just to give you an indication of how far it is. We have Florida over here and in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean we have Tropical Storm Erica on the move towards the Leeward Islands. Model runs are suggesting that it will continue to move west northwest through the northern leeward islands then eventually be in the vicinity of the bahamas come the weekend and yes the bahamas and south florida certainly need to watch erica's every move here's the official forecast track from the hurricane center they have it strengthening slowly with winds up to 65 miles per hour north of the leeward islands on thursday morning then eventually it will bypass puerto rico on friday with winds up to 70 miles per hour and then once it emerges into the southeastern bahamas it could easily be a category one hurricane with winds up to 75 miles per hour on saturday Saturday on Sunday up to 80 miles per hour and its location down the road will heavily depend on a front that is currently parked over North Florida and the placement of the Bermuda high pressure system in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Any little opening here could easily indicate that the system will move through parts of Florida or easily take that route in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So of course we will keep you posted with the very latest. We have new updates as far as the advisories are concerned for our friends in the northern Leeward Islands. And now that includes Barbuda, Antigua, Montserrat, including Guadalupe with a tropical storm watch. In fact, conditions, tropical storm force conditions can be experienced within the watch area in 48 hours. But I'll be back with a couple case scenarios as to what can happen down the road with Erica on 7 News at Noon. We now join regularly scheduled programming already in progress.